And they're off racing. Vintage Brute came out pretty well. Count Dorsey down the centre. Louis de Palmer in the yellow and red jacket. And also going forward on the near side, Hyper Focus. But Vintage Brute really blazing the trail in these early stages. Little group on the uh, stand side. Hyper Focus Nahar chased by Burmese Waltz and Chief of Chiefs as they run through the first quarter mile or so. And Vintage Brute now cutting across towards this stands rail, which has been a good place to be all week. Chasing Louis de Palmer. Hyper Focus Nahar, Flavius Titus, Burmese Waltz, and Chief of Chiefs still trailing the right hand group. Uh, leading uh, down the centre behind uh, Louis de Palma now, Count Dorsey with Golden Apollo and then Embor and a plom in a purple jacket. Cosmic Law further back, Blue Mist is smothered up, will need a gap. And then further out to Gabriel the Wire Woven is under pressure as well. They run down towards the final fern on Nahar, and now Nahar gets the lead past the long time leader, Vintage Brute, Louis de Palma, Burmese Waltz coming through well on this stand side. They're followed by Chief of Chiefs and behind these Golden Apollos they race on towards the final 50 yards or so and Chief of Chiefs begins to get on top from Nahar and Chief of Chiefs staying it out well. Chief of Chiefs from probably Burmese Waltz second. Nahar on the stand side. Uh, nearly unseated the rider past the line. Louis de Par and they're off. Racing away from the stores and more beautiful, the favourite away well in that dark blue jacket on the near side. Uh, Caroline Dale though showing the better early speed with Sands of Time. Far side Sardinia Sunset leading the way there with Pelleke. Uh, Campanelli is uh, right over on the extreme left, rather detached from the other runners at the moment. Uh, chasing that group on the far side, Happy Romance and Sacred in the red, white and blue cap, and then Star of Emirati. Uh, down the centre more now, Caroline Dale from Dicky Dudar, who's very prominent, and then Gramata. Royal Approval is further back as well. And then on this stand side, more beautiful, now being asked a few questions by Ryan Moore from Scarlet Bear, Wings of a Dove, and uh, from the back of the field, Mamba Wamba. They're running down towards the final film, Campanelli doing quite well on the far side with Sacred now and these two are the leaders from Sardinia Sunset Caroline Dale and then from the back behind these is Happy Romance but Campanelli has done it the hard way here and wins the Queen Mary some performance from stall one Sacred second back in third then was Caroline Dale far side Happy Romance Scarlet Bear running on well as well and just behind them Sardinia Sunset and Mamba Wamba and they're off racing away slightly awkward jump from dark lion existent was slow into stride towards the far side fast away far side is thunder of niagara with nando parado now going up on this near side in the red sleeves of Thunder of Niagara. Creative force in the all blue of Godolphin, very handy. The great army of India leads towards the stand side, chased then by Lauded. Science is not far away in the claret jacket. Carter on the far side in the blue and white uh, colours. And then Saika, who's out wide of the field. Back in the pack, painless Potter. Uh, Talbot is under pressure. At this stage, Admiral Nelson is towards the rear and behind a whole wall of horses. Existent trying to make ground just behind Igor got a text and Carrizzo up with the leaders creative force lauded further out then is Thunder of Niagara red sleeves Nando Parada and then Carter followed by Science Dart Lion coming home fairly well our Admiral Nelson with plenty to do as they race towards the final furlong and it's Nando Parada in the red sleeves chased now by Carter in second place Dart Lion stays on well on the near side and then on the far side Saika Nando Parada kept going here a length and a half to Carter and Saika and Racing for the line, Nando Parado and Adam Kirby wins the Coventry. Carter in second, third, Saika, and then probably Dart Lion on the near side of Painless Potter. And they're off away. The American filly sharing jumped out well. Uh, drifts towards the outside in the early strides. Love Locket is handy. Cloak of Spirits a little keen earlier on. Run Wild is towards the inside. And then in behind them Alpine Star. Quadrilateral is dropped in. And the back marker is so wonderful. Run Wild now gallops on into the lead from Cloak of Spirits in second. In third on the rail is Alpine Star followed by Love Locket. Sharing now getting a bit more cover. Getting in a little bit just to the outside of Quadrilateral and 
two lengths last to so wonderful. So racing pretty much uphill now, passing the five furlong marker. And Run Wild, who blazed the trail to win the Pretty Polly, is three lengths clear of in second Cloak of Spirits. Alpine Star is third on the inside of Love Locket. Quadrilateral is a close-up fifth, followed by Sharing, and still at the back, so wonderful. Passing halfway now and running right-handed into the home bend. And Run Wild still by three lengths to Cloak of Spirits just getting closer now the horse in Selleck second quadrilateral has come through between Love Locket and Alpine Star sharing is behind these and finally so wonderful they straighten up for the judge and Cloak of Spirits easily goes by Run Wild here comes quadrilateral with a run in the pink cap Alpine Star trying to drive up the far rail they're chased home by sharing and Love Locket Cloak of Spirits taken on by quadrilateral though she's leaning in and Alpine Star on the far side with the rail the helper is now forging into the lead. It's Alpine Star sharing is staying on gamely down the outside, but the bird may have flown here. Alpine Star, Frankie de Tory for Jessica Harrington goes on to an impressive win in the Coronation Stakes. Sharing second, quadrilateral third, and running on for fourth was so wonderful. And they're away. Uh, which is her jumping out well to the outside of stablemate Royal Dornock. Right up the inside is the other O'Brien runner, Arizona, in the dark blue jacket. Uh, they are tracked then by positive and threat. Pinatubo is settled towards the back along with Palace Pier. And Wichita is out wide of Royal Dornock, who's under restraint. And then Arizona now driving up the rail. Threat goes handy. Maybe a little muddling through the first quarter mile here. Positive with Palace Pier out wide. And Pinatubo is the back marker. Racing on towards the five furlong point from the finish. And the Guineas runner-up Wichita, the leader from Royal Dornock. Threat on the outside. Arizona hard against the inside running rail. And they're followed by Palace Pier in the silver silks. Positive in the blue and white striped cap just ahead of Palace Pier. And the last one is still is last season's champion two-year-old Pinatubo they're running now inside the final half mile and into the final bend and Wichita leads the way threat now poised to mount a challenge on the outside followed then in between runners by positive Arizona the inside Royal Dornock Palace Pier and in behind runners still in that all blue jacket is William Buick on Pinatubo he's now just angled out for a run down the home straight Wichita taken on by threat who comes there strongly but look at Pinatubo and Palace Pier these two are galloping into contention now as they stretch on towards the final furlong. Wichita has ridden hard. Pinatubo challenging. Palace Pier on the outside. It's just Pinatubo. Palace Pier though is still attacking. Wichita is rallying on the far side. A three-way go in the St. James's Palace and Palace Pier is getting up in the last few strides and Palace Pier wins. Ran down Wichita and Pinatubo. They two, those two fighting it out for second. Well clear of threat. And then positive, Arizona. And at the back was Royal Dornock. For the 2020 Diamond Jubilee, Group 1 over six furlongs. They're away and racing. Hello, Yumzane blasting out of the gate on the far side and leads Sands of Marley earlier. And they're now wide apart. Hello, Yumzane coming down the centre. On the stand side, breathtaking look leads Cardem. So a bit of a mix up here. Sands of Marley all alone on the far side. Down the centre, hello, Yumzane from Shine So Bright. Skeptical, one master, then uh, speak in colours, followed by Dream of Dreams and the Tin Man who's well off the pace. Meanwhile, under the stand side running rail, it's uh, still Cardam and breathtaking look. Breathtaking look at a Cardam. Now one group developing on the stand side. Sands of Marley is completely isolated out in the centre of the course. But at this stage, seems to be right on terms, if not the overall leader. Heading down towards the final quarter mile. And now it's opening up on this stand side. With coming through Skeptical on the outside, Cardam is next to the running rail. Hello, Yumzane under a strong drive as they race on towards the final furlong. Skeptical coming through under Frankie Dottori on the outside of Hello Yumzane and Cardam then Dream of Dreams behind these speaking colours Skeptical and Hello Yumzane fighting it out it's about a neck between them Skeptical all out from Hello Yumzane Dream of Dreams flashing home Hello Yumzane and Dream of Dreams probably in that order it's tight third Skeptical just run out of it and they were away from speaking colours one master and Cardam
And they're off, away. Tarantum Star began well on the near side along with Air Raid and Soldiers Minute. And also going forward is Konchak. Meanwhile on the far side, Bielsa and Jack's Point. Hey Jonesy burning towards the stand side of that far side group along with Recon Mission. And they're followed by Dazzling Dan over there as well. Uh, chased by Arecibo and Stone of Destiny just behind uh, Bielsa in the same colours. Silent Echo held up on that far side of the course with Mr Lupton. So that's the smaller group on the far side on the stand side it's air raid together with tarantum star right there also is dazzling dan and Conchek coming there and in behind them soldiers minute and lethal lunch at the back of them is gulliver along with some again spanish city is trying to run on uh, just behind dan zeno and then tinto on the outside and highland dress behind these so running on now down towards the final furlong and a half spread right across the track hey jonesy is the leader on the far side chased by stone of destiny then Silent Echo running on over there. Down the stand side, Dan Zeno, Spanish City. Coming through is Gulliver on the near side as they race up towards the line. Hey, Jonesy leads far side. Some again, near side. Hey, Jonesy and some again. A little apart, followed by Spanish City. Silent Echo doing well behind those. Gulliver and then came Stone of Destiny and Jack's Point far side. And they're off. Racing for the concluding race of Royal Ascot 2020, the Queen Alexandra stakes. And uh, in the early stages, Nate the Great is handy in the noseband. Uh, wide out in the centre of the course is Adrastos. Uh, leading the bunch on the far side, Mukha Magic ahead of the Grand Vizier. And Who Dares wins in the white with the red seams. Fun Mac with a bright white blaze and a pink cap is towards the inside of Affluence. And it's a freebie. And Monsieur Co is the back marker as they make their way through the first quarter miles at a necessarily steady pace with this long journey ahead of them. Two miles, five and a half furlongs, longer than the Gold Cup. And it's Adrastos from Nate the Great. Mocha Magic in third. Who Dares wins. Then Fun Mac, the Grand Vizier in the blue with the orange armlets. It's a freebie. And Affluence and Monsieur Co is last of all. So still a half mile before they reach the uh, judge here, and then they've got a circuit to go after that. Uh, Drastos and James Dorr from Nate the Great and champion jockey Ashim Murphy. Mooka Magic's on the inside under Ben Curtis. Then the favourite Who Dares Wins and Tom Marquand in fourth place. Who Dares Wins, really versatile horse. Winner of a Northumberland plate on the flat. And uh, numerous good efforts on the flat. Winning hurdler, winning chaser. Triple purpose horse, Who Dares Wins. Grand Vizier is to the outside in fifth place last year's Ascot Stakes winner. Then Fun Mac on the rail. It's a freebie. Affluence and Monsieur Co. So about to pass the judge then with a circuit ahead of them in the Queen Alexandra. And a Drastos from Nate the Great in second. Mooka Magic. Who dares wins. The Grand Vizier Fun Mac. Then it's a freebie. Affluence towards the back of Monsieur Co. A really varied field in so far as we have a combination of flat stayers and horses perhaps a little bit better known for their jumping exploits as they now head on towards the mile and a half point from the finish. Adrastos by a length and a half to Nate the Great in second place. Third is Mooka Magic, who dares wins in fourth position. And then uh, the Grand Vizier. Fun Mac on the inside under Jim Crowley. What a great week Jim has had. He's on the inside in sixth place at the moment. Monsieur Co and it's a freebie. And on the inside, Affluence. As they make their way downhill towards the mile and a quarter point from the finish. Still heading down towards Swinley Bottom. Adrastos, Nate the Great. Very few changes in the order. Mooka Magic is third. Who Dares Wins has been fourth throughout, followed out wide by the Grand Vizier. On the inside is Fun Mac. And then in the dark jacket, it's a freebie ahead of Affluence and Monsieur Co. still looking on from last place. Just about to run past the mile marker now and into Swinley Bottom. Right down there at the lowest point on the race course. And from this point, it gets uh, really tough because it's uphill most of the way home. So Adrastos leads the way. Nat the Great on the outside. And then Mooka Magic and Who Dares Wins. Fun Mac, the Grand Vizier. 
Affluence hits a freebie and Monsieur Co. all still travelling well within themselves as they head now to the six furlong marker. Adrasdos from in second place on the outside, Nate the Great. In third, Mukha Magic. Who dares wins in fourth? Fun Mac, the Grand Vizier, Affluence. It's a freebie. Monsieur Co. just pulled a little wide. And they're very well grouped together as they head on now towards the final four and a half furlongs towards the end of their long journey. And Adrastos with Nate the Great traveling well on his outside. Mooka Magic locked in behind. Who dares wins goes well. So to the Grand Vizier. Monsieur Co. trying to make up ground out very wide. Fun Max back on the inside. This pace is bound to lift as they head towards the final three furlongs. Adrastos, Nate the Great. Who dares wins now pushed along to try and make a challenge with the Grand Vizier on his outside. Mooka Magic round the inside. They swing for home. Adrastos leads the way. Nate the Great in the noseband. Who dares wins and the Grand Vizier charging down the outside. Mooka Magic is back in fifth and then Fun Mac and it's a freebie. An open looking race as they head towards the final furlong and a half. Adrastos. Who dares wins in the centre is driving hard with the Grand Vizier out wide. Nate the Great and Mooka Magic running a big race. Who dares wins and the Grand Vizier heading up towards the line. Who dares wins on the far side a half length to the Grand Vizier who dares wins pulls out all the stops to win who dares wins from the Grand Vizier back in third then was Mooka Magic Nate the Great in fourth